Hello again, this is video number three and in this video we're going to talk about the connection between Parrot 3D node and its objects. Uh, from now on we, we use the term of array members instead of objects because, because it's not an object that always being arrayed. And sometimes, let's say, if you're using parametric tools to create a parametric shape or parametric mesh, it's the vertices that is being stored in parametric node. So those vertices can be considered as as an object. So to be more generic, we're going to call them array members. This covers whatever going to be recorded in para notes it can be an object like the boxes within a parametric array or vertices of a parametric shape or vertices of parametric mesh and so on even when you're talking about the objects it is not necessarily a geometry it can be different type of objects anything that can be created in mags and can be transformed it could be a light it could be another help project it cannot be another uh, para node, that's for sure. We cannot create nested parametric arrays in para 3D. Now I'm going to explain that how these array members are stored in para 3D node. No matter what kind of para node you create, para always store the information of the members in a three dimensional array, like what you see in here. Uh, it is a three-dimensional array of boxes that has got a different number of uh, rows, different number of columns, and different number of planes. This structure helps us to access to each individual member within that structure using three identifier number which we call them indexes so for example if this box is my first item in my first row and in my first column and in my first plane the indexes associated with this item is going to be one 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 which means that this item is located row number one column number one and then plane number one please remember that the three dimensions of the array has nothing to do with three axes of 3d studio max coordinate system as i'm now associating the uh, first dimension and second dimension a third dimension of array with x and y z it is only because you can understand the the idea of the three dimensional array but in reality the first dimension can go to any direction it could go into y direction or even to z direction and also the same for the second and third dimension so this is just a geometrical uh, representation of these this data structure so let's go back to our array and just bring up my parametric array as dialog and then i select the parametric array node and as you can see in this array i have entered 10 6 and 3 as the number of the uh, rows, columns, and planes. So each of these numbers defines that how many items goes to each dimension of my array. And as you can see, if I add or remove the, the items from each dimension, the whole array expands to accommodate the given number of items. Another important point is that if your array doesn't look like a three-dimensional array, still PARA records the information in a three-dimensional format. So let's say if I have a two-dimensional format, I'm just going to hide these for now, and we, we assume this is a, a two-dimensional array with the row and columns, you, you don't have the planes, but we still, it's a, it's a three-dimensional array with one plane. So the, in, the third index of the object is always equal to one. And the same thing for one-dimensional array. So if I have only one row of the, ob, uh, of the members, 
I can still say it's a three-dimensional array with the index of the items in the second and third dimension equal to one. Okay, let's go back and uh, you can access to each item by uh, calling their indexes. For example, if I pick this box in here, I can see it is located in second plane of my array and in one, two, three, third row of that plane and one, two, three, four, five, and, and then also it's a fifth item in their row. So I could say this item has got the indexes uh, five for, for the first dimension, three for the second dimension, and two for third dimension. These numbers are playing a critical role in power three. And we're gonna talk about these numbers the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.